hear that. Hey everyone, Caracas here. Uh, I just got my hands on this uh, new game. Uh, it has actually been released a few days ago, but only now I had the chance to play it and record it for you guys. Um, it's called Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm not sure if you've played it. I haven't played it. Well, only a little bit. You can see the continue button there. Just to um, try out the, the graphical settings and try to um, customize them properly. You know, just for that. Uh, I'm going to start a new, new game right now. I heard that it's a story driven game and that it also looks nice because it is powered by the CryEngine. So, uh,. Yeah, I'm not really sure what uh, what uh, the story is about. We're uh, going to have to find out. Let's begin a new game then. All right, it's going to take a little while to load. I I only know that it's sort of a post-apocalyptic scenario, kind of like in Fallout, only that it takes place in 1980 six or four something like that I don't remember the details exactly but uh, it's a story driven game I love this kind of games I really do so uh, yeah I'm excited to see what what's uh, what's it all about okay any time now this is dr. Catherine Collins I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. So, uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to play as her, this woman who just talked. Love the, the, mu the moody music. I like this drawing as well, nice tile screen right here there we go so uh like I said I'm not sure if you're supposed to be the woman talking in in this short little intro if you're supposed to be her to play as her and look at that transition that is just awesome and uh, here we are already taking a look at the beautiful graphics Looking really nice, I'm liking this. Okay, so now we can move around. Hold on just a bit. I've had some problems in the previous recording. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing that it's a little bit choppy in the recording. Oh goodness me, why is this happening? No, not again. It happened with the previous Minecraft story mode that I recorded and I thought it would only be uh, like this in real time and not in the final video, but it was in the final video as well. So, uh, yes, let me just uh, check what's wrong and see if I can fix this. Why is this happening to me? Right, so... Uh, I didn't manage to fix it. I mean, I managed to, to f fix it because I'm now able to record properly. I just had to give up my uh, webcam. Uh, my face is not interesting, so uh, anyway, the focus was on this game. So uh, this is how they point the objective. Pretty interesting. Let's see what... I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I'm able. Right. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. Oh. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. Oh, that window the is pretty nice. are in the light. Oh. Uh. Okay, so uh, the event, it's um, yeah, so where to now, seems that there's something there, oh it's a phone ringing, I think it's a phone ringing, 
the game is gorgeous. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, yeah, I really like how it looks. Oh, look at this. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Okay, uh, well, that is weird. Am I going to find anything in this van? No, apparently not. That is blocked, so I think this is our only way. Oh, this is locked, okay. Oh, maybe this... What is that? Oh, wow, I can control it. Oh, do I need to, like, shake it? What am I supposed to do with this? What is this thing? What is that thing? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, this is kind of creepy. Whoa! So, what is the point? I seriously don't understand. Whoa, okay. Oh, I can walk. Now this thing wants something from me. I don't know what. Oh, wait, I think it's... Oh, I see, you have to center it there somehow. I'm trying what? to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails... Is that a person? no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Ooh. Now piss off. Wow, that's Actually. rude. <laughs> yes. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? Mm. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this. So are these like flashbacks? You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower Six. Kate, I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Wow. Uh, right, so everything is back to normal now. I think that was kind of like a flashback. This thing is fading away as well. Yeah, wow. Um, nice way of uh, representing persons there with those lights and particles. Interesting. Uh, Still not sure what that was all about. Oh, are those tiny little flowers? Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to walk this way. Um. Oh, and now we got around. Okay, I see. Oh, there's the light thing again. Oh, I think it's guiding me. Oh, I think that's a guiding... Whoa, no, okay. What, what is that thing? Jeremy. Who... Oh, it, it really is guiding me. Okay, that's interesting.
Ah, oh, you just tricked me. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Halfordson Road. Okay. Where where did it go? Oh wow. Now this is pretty. Look at all those flowers. This is sort of uh, plants uh, biologist kind of game, I guess. <laughs> oh, we have to pick up another phone call apparently. Okay. What's what's with all this stuff here? Who's that? Hello? Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Hello, if can you hear work. me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! What in the world? Well, that was creepy. What? <laughs> okay, what was that all about? Can we look around in this? No? Alright. So, uh... That's that. I guess we... Have to walk on. Welcome to Yachton. Okay. Ooh. Nice car here. Wow. I'm trying to go faster. I read that there is a sprint button, but I don't know why it doesn't sprint at all. I think no. Let me let me see. Run shift key. I'm pressing the shift key to no avail. It doesn't run at all. Do I have to tap it? I don't know. It walks really slowly. Oh great! It wants me to interact with it again. This is kind of creepy. Oh, do I have to? Wait, what? Oh, right, there we go. What now? Oh, let's Don't see. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. Oh, <laughs> come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. Wow. Well, Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. Oh, she's running from me. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, um, okay. So just keep walking on, I guess. Seriously, I can't get him to run, I don't know why. Simply cannot run at all. Can I walk in here? Oh, okay. Quarantine? I can't open the door, maybe if let me see. Oh, maybe the back door? No? Oh, what's that? Another radio, huh? The voice of the stars, okay. Extraordinary. The whole thing reminds me of high school. <laughs> Seeing Mars for the first time. That same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. 
Ok Tá Right It's a nice looking house Um Wait, where is that guiding light? So there are a lot of cars with the doors open, but there's nothing inside to pick up. Oh, there's some blood there, I think. Yeah, that's definitely blood. Uh, okay. So where's the... Ah, there it is. Guess we just have to follow the light. Huh, is it letting me inside there? No, it's just... Well... Whoa! Where are you? Ah! Stop tricking me! Just point me to where I need to go! Seriously, why does he not run? I do not know. What? There was another one there. Did you did you see that? Oh. What? What? Maybe it's pointing me where I should explore around. I'm not sure what's it doing. What? What is he trying to I don't know. Okay, let's try and go in. Oh, okay. So I did actually have to get Hello? inside. Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And, and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. It was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and we saw the house was open. And I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids. And, and then Neil and I started bleeding as well. And it is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. <laughs> Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as their only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. He never came back down. Whoa. Just be too frightened to go look. Well, why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Yeah. yeah I think I could manage that, yes. I actually think we. Will you please help me. Have to. Of course, I'll help you. Okay, so we have to go upstairs. Neil? Neil, are you there? Alright, let's see... What are we going to find? Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's a drawing there. What's with the bloody clothes? Um, what happened? <laughs> okay, there's nothing I can pick up, not even the drawing. Right, um, can I go into any other room? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's weird. Hold on. I didn't try to, but now. 
with this luggage here now. Definitely can't open that. Um. Well, okay then. I don't know what to make of that. Oh, were they protesting something? Say no to Valley's extension. Is a seventh tower really necessary? To register your complaint, add your name to the petition. Oh, so they were protesting something. Hmm. Right. Uh. Where is my guiding light? I now have to look for it once more. Uh, where are you? Okay, let's just... Huh? Oh, okay. We're on the white way. I need to... I'm trying to... Come on! Doing that. Go away from me, don't come near me. This is people's property, you're scaring them. It's all over the village, it's got into everything, it's so fast. What are you talking about? It's travelling down the wires. Dear God, when you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can, hand it over, Appleton. Don't get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's me mine! Give me the Just can! Me. I need it. Grow up! Oh, fuck. Oh, God, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Wow, okay. I... I am in awe. I'm still not sure who I really am in, in, in this game, who I'm supposed to be. It's just that I'm continuously watching flashbacks of events that happens to bother people in here. Oh, this again? Is everything right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Okay, um, oh look at this pretty little lake, you know in all this confusion, uh, maybe it's only the beginning and this is why I'm very confused, but in all this confusion it's great that this game has lovely graphics, oh look at that, this is really pretty, at least uh, we can enjoy the environment, if we're not making sense of anything yet. Um, right, where is my... Oh, look at the, the, the clouds. I'm starting to cover up the sun. Where... Uh... Okay, I'm not sure if... I'm supposed to find anything here. I just walked in in the first... Um, garden that I found. What's happened here? Um... <laughs> okay... Oh, this is nice. Please tell me I can walk through- Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> this is so satisfying. I can walk through the 
cloth and it's wonderfully simulated. Oh, wait, I can't jump. Oh, there it is. There's the guiding light. Uh, it's pointing me. I think I need to... Okay, I'll walk up those stairs. <sighs> I seriously don't understand why he doesn't run. Even though it it said you could run in the, the controls option menu. Okay, so there's the light. Yeah, we definitely have to... Or, where is it? Okay, you know what? We're, we're close to this spot and it was hovering around here, so maybe I'm supposed to find something here. Hmm. Another quarantine zone. Um, pff, seriously, don't know what happened. Another car with an open door in which we can't find anything. Um, okay, then. Ah, really, just walking around and around all over the place. Hmm. Let's see, what's this? Just okay, nothing interesting. Whoa, is he there? Here's the light coming back. Here's the light coming back. Oh god. If I would if I would see this in real life, I would crap my pants definitely. So what no? Just make up your mind already. Oh finally, let's see. There was an open door there in the front, I saw that, but I just want to follow the light. See where it's... where is it pointing? Why right, that white house there. Hmm, there really must be something there. I hope. I think it's, it just points you to different locations where you could go and find stuff, I don't know. Alright, another open Meg? door. Oh! Oh, scared me. Meg, are you here? Here, I'm in the lounge. There are too many empty houses tonight. Most of the village is gone now. My head's killing me. Have you listened to the phones? No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate? She's still alive. No one's seen her. I is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Sleep well. Wow, so everybody, oh those are tissues, everybody, or I mean, I mean, in each and every house I walked in until now, there are bloody tissues all over the place. <laughs> what has happened here? How am I still here? Why am I still here? There are so many questions, so many questions, but um, not that many answers, maybe not yet. Oh, a computer. Uh, oh, okay. That scared me. It's the same image. Okay, that is totally creeping me out. I don't know what that is. But it, it was playing the same thing that I found in the uh, computer in the first um, office I walked in in the very beginning of the game. 
Okay, so I think that's that for this uh, this house. Um, right, I now need to find the light once again. There it is. I think I should check out. Um, let's see. That's still hovering around there. Okay, let's let's check out this this uh, house because it had a door open and I. Okay, it's getting really nervous around here. This uh, trace of light. Okay, we can walk in through here. That's great. So. Um... Well, where what about the station? That's shut down too, so there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place, there's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivan since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Oh man, hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary, and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just gonna have to do it ourselves. Uh, Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organise supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rota. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg? I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? Okay. I think that's it. Um Right, so uh where where should we go now? Oh I think that's a that's a rugby field. Oh it looks nice. Um I can hear it. Is it still there? Okay. Maybe it was just looking for me. I'm I'm still here, yes. Where to next? Why did it stop there? I can't control it, so... It's not like one of those... Wait a minute... Is this...? Oh, right, down in the basement, lovely. Um, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't do anything. Stop, stop it. Calm down. I'll get back. It's in my head. Howard, wait. Ah! Oh. ah! Father. Father, are you all right? It's my ankle. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I think it's broken. Uh, Howard, go and get help. There's no one left. No one's coming to help us. Please, Howard, fetch help. The light. They're in the light. I can see everyone in the light. Oh my god. Help me. Wow. Uh, oh, 
Okay, um... Well... Now the light's gone. Great! Just, just great! Oh, I need to find it again. To find out there it is. Uh, wow. Where have you gone now? Oh, I just. I think it was over the bridge just now and now I don't know where it has gone There it is. All the way over there. Uh, uh. Oh, look at this football. Please let me kick it. I can't. Ah, oh, too bad. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Somewhere around this red van. It's, it's just that that thing keeps hovering around and you know they oh, uh, there we go. see me as an outsider here as well is that supposed to make me feel any better you know, i understand it's difficult that's all i'm saying your lot up at valis have never mixed with the local community people here they don't really understand what you do up there are you trying to get me to come to your church it's not just about faith it's about the community be involved be seen as part of it one of them Good morning, Father. Lovely day. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Weaver. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? <laughs> I can live with them staring at me if they just stay out of my way. Okay, uh... Oh god, so slow! Really, why doesn't he run? Or she, whatever am I supposed to be? What, what's this? Georgie, leave it alone, it might have fleas. Hello, Amanda, what are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations, so they're worried enough for that. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I'll have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone! <laughs> okay, uh... I need some... I'm trying to keep up with that freak... Okay, hold on a second, I just can't take this anymore. Um, controls... Let's see, can I remap it? Let's... Okay, let's use tab. Because shift doesn't work for whatever reason. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to save the... Okay. It, it still doesn't run. How, how do I make him run? How do I make myself run? 
Wait, uh, I don't understand. Okay, never mind that. Uh, let's take a look around here. There Back. we go. Come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie! Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? Oh, it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard! Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Okay. Oh, now it actually kind of goes a little bit faster if I hold it down. I hope it's not just... No, I, th I do think he, he's walking a little bit faster now, thank goodness. Um, okay, now, uh, let's check this out. What's this? Doctor's surgery, hmm. Dr. Wade, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable's just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming out from his ears and his what nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Nose. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's see what's. Ah, uh, I can't. Okay, maybe it's outside. Oh, another phone call. Visual and auditory distortions are becoming more frequent, along with mild convulsions to the left side, all of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension, occurring as a result of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumor, originating, I believe, within the hypothalamus. Cognitive functions are currently unimpaired, aside from this crippling headache. Hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent, with darker clots passing through the nasal passages primarily. I believe I am dying. This is certainly not flu. No or kidding. Else I have ever encountered. And certainly a tumor cannot expand this rapidly. In the blood clots, I see tiny flecks of what looks almost like, if I had to try and find a description, liquid light. I cannot explain this phenomenon. Wow, just, just, just great. <sighs> Whatever happened here? Um, oh, I see another one of those. Ah, okay, let's check that out.
The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. There are voices on the line. It's 4 a.m. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. Huh. Okay. They keep talking about lights. Or a certain light. There you go. Where are you taking me now? These moves making me dizzy. Trying to get somewhere where I haven't been until now. You're, you're just hovering around like crazy. Okay, that house. Yes, we haven't been here. Go. Oh, that didn't work. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Finally. I saw you from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Look, Frank, there's gonna be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Well... All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. Alright, um, is this about aliens? <laughs> okay, the light seems to... ...have remained there, uh, or is it... No, okay.
Why are you out there, you bastard? You got them all. Uh, you got them all. Christ, help me, oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Look at this. These are definitely not candles. Oh, come on! It's kind of hard to... Oh, really now? No, not even this time! It's kind of hard to center this because it's not... Oh, really? Does it not? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, not if. Uh, come on now. It doesn't... Uh, this is mildly frustrating. Oh, I knew it. I just had to hold it down. Their line... It's gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them, hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
Okay. Wow. Look at this. There's the light again. Whoa. Wendy. Are we now, like, following someone else, or...? I don't really understand. Ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. All right, what is next now? Nothing to see here. Um... I actually think I have to leave this property. I think that's that's enough. Um, of course, once again, I'll have to find the um. Ah no! Great, I've turned around. I have to find where the light is. See where it's going to lead me next. As always. Ah, 
There it is. Uh... Now the atmosphere has suddenly changed into a peaceful, relaxed, soothing mood. Until now, it was pretty days, tense. Yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered. Free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Here comes the light. It's putting it somewhere, uh, somewhere else. The tree house. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. Whoa. I don't understand what that means. Creepy. Okay, here's the light. Let's see where to now. So I guess, I mean, we are more than one hour into this game, so it's pretty clear by now that you're just walking around, listening and witnessing flashbacks or something, and just trying to connect the dots. Go as far as the Haberton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing and the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive? Okay, I think I skipped that dialogue. Um, I'm just trying to keep up with the light. There's another... Oh. Sherlock, you copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a pint. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll not argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> huh. Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Oh, 
Oh, here they are, dead birds. Seeing them Harvey. for the first time. Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Well, do I? Just push it. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <sighs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, my God. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Wow, this is new, look at this, that's wonderful. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He left, it's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. Alright, dead birds, now sing them more often. Phone call from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver, something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine then. Ouch! The feels.
grief, Wendy. You catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter, man. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mither and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her, and I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Hmm. Well, I'm trying so hard to keep up. It's really interesting, especially that we... Huh? Nothing here. Oh, whoa. Gets out. There you go. Um, okay. Uh, where to now? Look at the trains, wow! The details are so nice. This is awesome. Uh, perhaps... Okay, I think we have to... I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. 
There's arches on the green. They've taken my shoe, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. <gasps> now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Okay, let's see that. There should be another orb here. No? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? End of the line. Time to get back down and there is my light. My little guiding light. Wendy, wake up. Eddie, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. Oh, the door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, Ken. 
And if he's on the radio, I can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. Okay, so there's another radio outside. There is. There's something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. Oh, another one. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home. I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Bob's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush. It's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right. Grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Thing. Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start! You bastard! Come on! Gah. Stephen! It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! Whoa, okay. This is uh, starting to be a little bit overwhelming. What is that? Stephen, where is Kate? Are you here? Come on. Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. 
You can come out now. It's all going to be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. Wow. Look at this. I'm down here. This way. Wow. Look at the sky. That is gorgeous. So we're once again walking on this Tim Litz way. Uh, it's like fireflies. Frank, so uh, I guess this is, these are like chapters or something like that. Oh god, the atmosphere has changed once again. <laughs> Some folk won't let go of this, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns up out for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, but she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob. Nose. Head. Got it. And steer clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, pass me that socket spanner and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on. Look at this!
see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Uh. You want to live near the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. <laughs> so you and Steven, I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the cows. You're gonna have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided I'm left alone, I'm happy. Steven's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not, not this way? Oh. Yeah, this way, of course. Look at this. Wow. Uh, oh, another radio. Under the microscope, you could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stephen's wrong. This isn't an attack, it's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. Okay. She once again brings this communication attempt. Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker 1-9. Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, my Hello? family, my, my wife that? and kids. You yeah, know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me about no. sacrifice, you, you spineless stupid, little shit. You stupid bastard. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Six weeks after, 
once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can I ever repay you for what you did? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. You should come back to church. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him, too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <sighs> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. never mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all round the Reekin. And Dr. Wade reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Max said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Set the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. <sighs> yep, I'm still here. I know I've been silent lately, but I'm, I'm just so caught up into the into this. I, 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 I can't even explain. Um. <laughs> oh, look at that windmill in the distance. I think, I think that's our next stop. Go. Oh, 
Thanks, Frank. Let's get it out of the way. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Shit. Pardon my French, but bloody shit thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. Finally, something in one of the vans. Not the radio. Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. There are like sort of two storylines running at the same time. Take stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God! All right, all right. I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. Wait, haven't we been here before? Well, it looks similar. Right, this way. Yes, we've been here before. Oh, okay. Haven't been here. Right, this way. Didn't take it this way at first. coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn.
How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. It's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Bowton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, we're still going on. Um okay let's check this room out. Oh there's the light. Where to now? It's bloody England. You can't just stop the train, stop people travelling about the place. I don't like it, Frank. I don't like it at all. Well, nobody likes it. No sense sweating cobs over it. Yeah, folk all riled about it, giving me grief. I didn't stop the bloody trains, did I? And did they give me any warning? No, they bloody didn't. Yesterday, it's all like keeping calm, Howard, minor disruptions, and today it's all government edicts and not until further notice, and you'll manage. Half the village has vanished. It's a couple of people. It's hardly half the village. Oh, right now. But you forget, I've seen things. I was in the Falklands. I tell you, I got out the old air raid siren to test it this morning. Air raid siren? What on earth are you going to do with one of those? I found it in the station storeroom. Took it home, stuck it under the bed. Thought it might be worth something one day. Oh, damn it! It's all right. It's just a nosebleed. Here, use my Yankee. It's clean. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks. It's been getting like a bloody drain all day. Oh, and, uh... There's the blood. I now started hearing a siren. So I wonder what that's all about. Where did I go? I think this way. Ah, there it is. Miss Graham. Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese. Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Hi! I want to work with you! Jeez! What the bloody hell are you doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Still up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way.
I had been here before. Probably. Are we heading towards the... No. I think it comes from that way, from the sound of it. Oh, and there's a glowing gold there as well, so maybe... Maybe I will get there at some point. Where is he coming back? Yes. Maybe... Ah, this way. Let's see, I think so. Uh, yep, no. Actually, yes. Alright, so we do have to go towards whatever the siren is coming from. Okay, the suspense is killing me. I'm gonna wait for the light. Wait. Don't. Oh, hold on. Ah, yes, there it is. There it was. My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right and by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming. now
Lizzy. Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna sit down until now. Oh, wait a moment, is it raining? Yes. Mrs. Graves! Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out and everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he wasn't going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then Dean come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back but either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I'd be looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Another phone call. You can't save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. What? Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. There's another phone ringing, I thought I heard it. Oh! The door's locked, great. Oh man! Oh, it's really raining now. Oh, look at this. Lovely. <laughs> I need to reach that phone. Where could it be then? Maybe it's a phone booth. Let's see. Um, where was it? Ah, there it is. Alright.
Hi, this is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. But I love you. Please be there. I love you. Lovely weather effects. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are we here? Not sure. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. You've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even care that he was screwing her. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Why is it standing there? Maybe. Oh, yes. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Screw this day. There's 15 people up and left in two days. I don't like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean. I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out of the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads, through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back here either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's your problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. It's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine, we're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, don't. Come to bed.
Oh wait, I've been here. Maybe this way, I don't think... Yep, I took you that way last time. Okay, let's check this out. We're not even really talking at the moment, if I'm honest with you. I've been sleeping in one of the empty chalets. Otherwise, we just sit there in silence. And then he goes off and pretends he's not drinking from one of his secret little stashes. And I pretend I ain't noticed, and then when we go to bed, it's all I can do not to scream. I don't know why we're still together. Except I do. I still love him. You remind me of Mary when she was your age. If we'd had a daughter, I'd have been proud if she'd turned out like you. You don't have to say that. Just talk to Robert. Tell him you know he's drinking again. You two can work it out together. I know you uh, can. I wish I had your faith. I just don't want to be the person who stayed because they were afraid to move. I know you can't dwell on the past, I know that, but sometimes you do just think, don't you? What if the accident hadn't happened? I could have been anywhere right now, rather than stuck here, rehearsing Peter Bloody Pan and fixing tumble dryers for the umpteenth time. <laughs> oh, Frank, you are an angel. Don't be that. You're still young, Lizzie. You got plenty of time to be whoever you want to be. Just don't keep using that leg of yours or that husband as an excuse. Shipley, I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop, love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. On. Right, down here. I haven't been down here. Found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, 
The mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade, there's just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right, that's me. Short leash. Kids up half a night, bloody teething. Missus will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, mate. No. I You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <sighs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. you got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? Five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot.
die or whatever is wrong. You look terrible. Mrs. Oh. Graves. Sean, baby Dylan, is he all right? He's fine. Die. Come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it. Die. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut there. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road and... Oh, God, I think Die, he... for fuck's sake, leave it. It's all right. Hey, you're all right. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. But no. Now, I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so. But Mr Graves, Rob Can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. OK, thank you, Mrs Graves. Thank and Sean, you. go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. Oh, Robert. Village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's OK. Come on, I promised the kids another shot at the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> It's Kate. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. He moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I... But Lizzie... Please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. It's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best, then.
never get that. I can manage. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except okay? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. Alright, so we are back in the center and, uh, well, where to now? The main hall? Apparently. Oh, maybe now we'll see the play. Uh, because back when I first stepped in here, nothing happened. Let's see. Eh? Well, nothing? Really? Nah, ah, there we go. <laughs> All right.
this data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. It's completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, OK? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful. I will, I promise. You as well. I'll see you later on. Why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify... Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Oh, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. Oh, wow. Just... You know... You'd think that it, it would finally make sense and you'd finally... It would finally be revealed what's been happening this whole time. It, it actually gets... It's like code here. It's getting more and more confusing. Where's the light? What is the... Uh, I, I don't know, I think. Ah, there it is. Maybe I have to... Can I go inside? I don't think so. Oh, yes. Okay.
Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's... she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. on. This is... Oh, right. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. Infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an airstrike. You have to. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. Are you listening? It's figured out ways around it. 
Radio wave, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my, my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. I lost my guiding light, realized that I've been walking for the past few minutes without it. Uh, I think I've been here. Well, I don't have no map at all. I don't have my guiding light anymore. Well, it, it should come back. Maybe it's looking for me. Maybe it's on my trails, I don't know. I've been up there. At the windmill, uh, maybe need to. I, I'm not sure. Sometimes you had to revisit the same location. <sighs> I don't know. Pretty clueless. But, uh, let's 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 see. Maybe I'll just okay. Not going up there again. Where's my light? I am lost without my light and my guiding light. Where is it now, really? Can't see it anywhere.
Oh well. This is oh great. Uh, all right. I've been here before. My my might be on the right way. Should be. Since I've never been here. Oh, that's a nice lake right there. Think here, then obviously we have to go up there. Seems that you can't manage without the guiding lights, sort of, at least for a little while. I hope I'm not going to jinx this. Kind of looks familiar. Now I. No, I couldn't have walked around in circles. There's the windmill again. Uh, <laughs> where, where am I? You know, with with that music and all, I really thought I. Okay, hold on. Why has it? Why 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 did it, why did it leave me behind here? Oh, I walked in circles. Unbel <laughs> Unbelievable. I actually walked in circles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Is that... I, I think I can hear it. Where, where are you? Show yourself already. I need you. I really need you this time. Oh, beautiful ball fly there. Hello, guiding lights, where are you? I need you! I'm so lost! Okay, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go up there to that windmill. For some reason, something keeps telling me that I have to go- Why did I stop? What? What's happened? I don't know. For some reason, something keeps telling me that I have to get up there again. <sighs> I don't know why, but uh... I'm just gonna do that. Can't go in, definitely. Um, what am I doing out here? What? Is that my guiding light? Oh god! Wait, am I stuck here? No, not really. Yes? Yes, I, I can't pass through. Ah, oh, was that? No. I didn't stumble across anything new for so long. Oh, wait, I haven't seen this. I've been here before? Not, not really. Oh, wait, is that the... Is that the swimming pool? I've, I've been in there before. Where is the light? I need it right now and it, it has left me. Simply left me like that. Vanished. Don't even remember where I've last... What? Is that? 
No, wait, I'm... That kind of looks like... Okay, hold on. Wait, why is everything turning black and white? Or is it just... Am I... No, it's not turning black and white, it's just... Or is it? No. No. I... Oh my god, I'm so confused right now, my... my brain is on fire. Where is my freaking guiding light? Need it! It's gonna start raining. I think so, pretty soon. I've been here. I think I've been here, yes, I've been here. Uh What now? Ah! Oh! Right, this. I, uh... Yep. What am I supposed to do? Where's the light? Been here, done that. Do I need to get to that observatory or something? I, I, I didn't even understand where it is. Oh my god, the confusion is real. Oh, no. What have I done? Can I? Shout yeah, right. Why has the light left me behind? Why? Oh, I've totally been here before. Wait, let's see. Tennis courts, reception, pool. No. None of this helps me. Oh my god, this is the... Worst game you could get lost in. <laughs> Why does he stop moving? Like, that's the last thing I needed to happen. Where is my light? I need my tiny little guiding light. Oh, why did you leave me behind? Seriously, I... I I'm stumped. As if I didn't feel lonely enough until now. I'm now completely lost. That's just awful. Okay, let's see. My whole oh, same stuff. Oh. What? I've been here. I don't think I've been here, but I don't think there's gonna be anything here either. Uh, oh, I've been here actually. I have been. Yep. Another phone booth. And we're back at the main hole. Oh, shit. Where? Why did it leave me? Why did it freaking leave me? Wait. Oh my god, do you hear that? I'm nearby. I, oh, finally! Thank goodness! Where have you been? Oh, you little shit. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. <laughs> oh. Finally, please lead the way. Lead the freaking way. Where are you? Lead the freaking way. Oh my god, I've been looking for you. Come on now. Oh, I thought I was done for a moment there. Worst. Worst game to get lost. This way? Alright, alright. That's okay. Uh, this way it is then. Oh, look! It's running up again, even though I didn't. Well, I mean, when it first happened, it was night, and uh, it always happens after I was sort of like completing the level or I don't want to call it, I'm not sure. Okay, but this is the right way at least. The guiding light says so. I 
going to trustfully follow it. I've got no choice anyway. Nothing new here. Why'd you stop? There's nothing. Nothing happening here. Oh my god, what? Why did you stop? Okay, maybe if I keep moving on, it's gonna catch up to me. Yeah, there we go. Alright, uh, I've been here before, but... Okay, where must I go? Come on, lead the way. Lead the way. I'm going to give it a bit of advantage. that way oh okay I ah I haven't been here this was it oh god I walked around the seventh whistler Finally. You look well. I don't. But thank you. You do. How are you settling in? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. To put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering oh, what she meant God, by that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. Yeah, oh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What isn't? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Ah, this was the drink she was, uh, they were talking about. Okay, this is locked. Um, okay, one way out, one way in, one way out. Oh god, uh... Okay... No, this can't happen again. Where are you? Don't pull that trick on me once more. Okay, maybe I can find... Oh, do I doubt it? I can find something else around here? No, not really. Doesn't seem so. Um... Yeah, no. Nothing else. Oh god. Why does it leave you? I don't understand. Wait. But. Okay. 
don't think I've seen this before. Nope, definitely haven't been here at all until now. Oh, this is the first police car I see. Oh, this is the train station. Ooh, looking pretty nice. I, I, like I said, I really like the trains. Okay, okay, all right. Darling Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh, there's planes coming. Wow. Where's the... Oh, there we go. I saw the lights outside for a little bit and now can't see it anywhere of course. The music is great. The music is great in this game. Really really fits uh, the mood and oh okay, we're on the right way. There's another radio I think. Yep. Repeating over and over to myself in the dark. Eating cold food from a can with my fingers. My name is Catherine Collins. I am Catherine Collins. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking off the days on the walls. Like a cave woman. Alright, we'll have to uh, manage without the guiding light. Ah, there it is. I was just talking about you. Finally, you found me. We just keep looking for each other, right? Okay, where to? Here? Ah, I was just about to walk in here. Well, I do oh wait, I. Ah, okay. Appleton, what are you doing here? You thieving bastard! I knew it was you. Listen, take everything you need, but then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures, stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here! Yeah, Don't touch me! Get off! What's going on? Come in here! Lord. Jesus, Get us over Sam. us! 
thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missing. Sam, stop She's it. better than any of you. <laughs> Great. Sam. Sam. Is he? Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg. <laughs> Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't, don't touch me! Meg, please, you have to understand, it was an accident! Get off her! Let go, let's just go! Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident! Let's just leave him, leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please! Wow. You killed them. Simply killed them. Oh, for crying out loud, the lion has left me again. <sighs> it's just here. Okay, can apparently walk inside here as well. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What, and have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes, it's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. Ah, oh, there you are. This is Catherine Collins, recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... Can make it. Oh, that's the phone again. Hello. Hello. Is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clive. Where are you? Oh, damn it. Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. Come in, Tower 6. Kate, are you there? Kate! Anyone? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Stephen Appleton, broadcasting from within the quarantine zone. Can anybody hear me? Oh, Close the tunnel. There's no trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. 
Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days, or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines... It... But no direct contact with any other people? No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones! What do you mean, direct contact? Stephen? Wow! Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just... Come on, this is crazy! Alright, I need to check that uh, radio or phone, or phone, whatever it is, real quick. Whoa, what's going on? Pressure in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened too. It'll be okay. I'll look after you. It's alone. It's scared. Oh, it's traveled so far. It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. Ten seconds to signal fusion. We can be together. Three seconds. All right, there's something real weird. Look at this. When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. 
It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum would spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. The fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. I'd done a Ken, son. That's what he said. I'd done a Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. Okay, I think this is it. This is the moment for the finale. Whoa, whoa! Well, I... I... You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate. Oh, wow. This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear oh, this. Oh, there we go. It's all over. 
I'm the only one left. Kate. Oh, it's still not over yet. I think we're getting close though. It now got to Kate and she spoke the same words that she said in the beginning. Wow. Oh, this has been some trip. Oh, we're finally, I just realized, yeah, we're finally at the freaking observatory. So, uh, I think that now we're going to witness another conclusion to the story. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh... Oh goodness me, look at this. Can't go in? What? It's like a... Oh, what? Wait. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. I try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. All of them are happy because they are together. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. No butterflies. Oh. Wow, look at this. Is this what they were talking about earlier? This is indeed amazing. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere, the bridge joining our stories. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, 
knowing that everything will continue. Wow, I'm finally starting to make some sense of it. So it was more like a, a metaphor. Wow, this is overwhelming. This is really, really impressive. Games like this, you know, I could use games like this as a fine example for my statement that video games are not just about, you know, fun and entertainment. They, they can very much be a form of art as well, one that I can truly appreciate. is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone, and we will join them. We are born apart, driftwood, on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Oh, 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 so good. So, so good. The Chinese room. Wow. Amazing work. Amazing work. Overwhelming. Man, have I enjoyed this? Have I enjoyed this? I, I now finally, it finally made sense in the end. Now, now this was a trip. This was a trip. Oh my god. Keeping all the suspense all the time, not really making sense, but at the very end, when it matters, wow, that, that this this was great, this was great. Thank you so much for making this. <laughs> it's our second or third emotional trip on this channel, I think. Uh, the previous ones that I remember are Firewatch and um, the Beginner's Guide. This is one of those kind of games. I love this kind of stuff. You know, you can only play it once. There's no replayability, pretty much. But it it makes a point. You know, it uh, it makes statements. This has been great. Thank you for ma thank you for making this. Thank you, really. And I hope you have enjoyed this video as well. I know it's gonna be pretty long, but man, what what a trip! Amazing, amazing. Alright, so thank you for watching, thank you very much for watching, and wow, this has been a trip. <laughs> I am, I am overwhelmed, I am overwhelmed, great, great stuff.